The Wisconsin Badgers opened the second half of the season last weekend at home against eighth-ranked Ohio State. Buckeyes prevailed on Friday night 4-2 behind Tommy Napier, their fine goaltender. Wisconsin responded on Saturday with a 5-2 victory. The Badgers welcome Michigan State to town this weekend, and I'm Brian Posick. We'll hear from head coach Tony Granato next on the Badger Hockey Digest. McCormick, the DePere native, tries a lead feed and track down. No, Singleton can't reach it. Barry out of his net and banked it off the boards. Wisconsin's got it. Brock Caulfield onside looking. Ashan, he catches, tries to weave his way to the net and scores. Well, Tony, on Saturday, the 5 2 win over Ohio State after the 4 2 loss on Friday. Jack Barry was certainly really good in goal, and it started in the first period. He stopped 15 to 16 shots and a big one at the end of the period to kind of keep you right there at 1 1, and then you added four in the second. That was a pretty good win for your club. It was, and like you say, I think if you, if you look at the game and you're looking for a number one star, Jack Barry was the guy because when the game was on the line, he made the saves when he had to. And I thought just his poise back there gave us some confidence in our own end. Uh, so I thought we played much better in D zone coverage. And, uh, you know, like you said, second period, we were able to finally find a way to, to get to the net front and get some goals on Ohio State on Friday night. Uh, we had some great chances. Their goalie is uh, all world on the numbers that he's putting up this year, and we just couldn't find a way to, to beat him when the game was on the line. But hard fought weekend against a great team. You know, obviously at this point of the season with the first half, we, we're, we can't accept splits and think it was a good series for us. So going into Michigan State this weekend, uh, they're a team that's at the top of our conference as far as what they've done uh, on, on getting victories, and, and they, you know, they're giving themselves a chance to maybe win a big, big Ten title. So we're going to have to be at our best this weekend as well. Yeah. Also, the third period on Saturday, you played some smart hockey. I mean, all the way through, you really kept it, made it difficult for Ohio State to penetrate when they're trying to rally to get something going. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought we did a really nice job defensively. Uh, you're right. Um, you know, and that goes with the support of our forwards. I think our D again, and I, and I always brag up our D. I think personnel-wise, we got really solid group of defenders, uh, but they can only be as good as the supporting forwards are. And, and when the forwards help our D, uh, I think we can play some really solid defensive zone coverage and, and really well without the puck. And that's going to be really big as the year moves along that we continue to get better in that area. And while Jack Berry was the number one star Saturday, Roman Ashan was the number two star of the week in the Big Ten. He had three goals against the Buckeyes and gave you a lot, didn't he? He always gives us a lot. You know, sometimes he might not show up on the score sheet, but but he's a competitor that's always going to lay it out on the ice. And, and, you know, we've talked about this a lot. When you, you ask your players to empty the tank, you know Roman's going to do that for you. And, and he does. He plays every shift like it's his last shift, every shift like it's a Stanley Cup playoff game. And he's got a ton of heart and energy, and he had a great series for us, scored some big goals and, and helped in our big win on Saturday. Well, Roman Ashan has had a pretty good start to his sophomore season, and he's a feisty one. Let's take two minutes with Roman Ashan. So uh, you and I were talking before. Uh, you're an agitator. Yeah. Uh, so, so is that is that fair to say you're you agitate people? Yeah, I mean, I get in people's heads sometimes, but I feel like that's just the player that I am. Yeah. Where did you learn that? Uh, probably growing up with my older brother, my younger brother, uh, skating out in the backyard and stuff. We uh, we had some good battles, and those, sometimes those turned into fights. And and uh, I'd always pick on my little brother. My older brother would always protect him, so he'd always come in and and put me in my place a little bit. So I f feel like that's where I got it from a little bit. Yeah, so I would suppose that each one of you probably won a fight at some point, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's pretty tough, but I, I held my own, I think. Your little brother, too? Uh, I don't know. I kind of I kind of let off on him because I knew my older brother was coming in any time. So I kind of let off on him when I knew it was coming. All right, so you're fighting. You're on skates, on the ice, and you have every one of your teeth. That's right. <laughs> How did that work out? I don't know. We had some bloody noses here and there, but no teeth injuries. Actually, my brother, when I was in uh, growing up in elementary school, we were in gym class, and my brother actually pushed me, and my front teeth got like pushed in, so I had to get them pulled out, but they're all good now. Those are my baby teeth. So. Yeah, you might have the best teeth on yeah. the team. <laughs> so as an agitator, is it, is it hard for you to, to kind of try to get in the guys' heads, or, or you don't seem to have a problem with it? Because other, other guys, on the opposition, all they want to do is kick your tail. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's just my game, just kind of getting people's grill, but at the same time, I have to keep composed and stay steady, steady head, or keep a steady head with where I want the game to go to. So I feel like I have to keep on that even line and, 
and played at my strength. So, Although Friday night, after you scored a goal, you went right by the Ohio State bench. I don't know what you said to the Buckeyes, but one of their <laughs> senior defensemen, Matt Miller, wasn't all that happy. So tell us about that incident. Yeah, I mean, I was just skating past the bench, and I was trying to get the guys riled up, and I skated past their bench, and one of their guys didn't like what I was saying coming across our bench, and so he came out and kind of gave me a little hit, but I don't know. Kind of got our guys going, I think, so. The Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors' Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Michigan State comes to town. Some would say the Spartans are the surprise of the Big Ten, currently tied for second place, only two points behind first place Penn State. So is Michigan State a surprise or not? I guess so from the standpoint on, on how they've won and where they've won. Um, you know they're going to be a hard-working team. I think that and Cole last year started to get that program going on, on a style of play. Um, I don't want to say it's similar to Notre Dame, but they're stingy around their net. They've got a great goaltender that they – make or and allow to be a great goaltender because they defend hard at their net. They don't give up many second chances. They don't give up many uh, outnumbered attacks. Mm -hmm. So they know their game is going to be won by their goalie, and they play that way. So, so they're hard to play against. And we had the two games up at Michigan State. One of them we thought we had won. Uh, they battled back in the third period to take the lead. We ended up tying it and then losing a heartbreaker in overtime. So it was a hard-fought game. We know they're going to come here and here at work. We know they're going to dump pucks in and try to get a four-check going. We know they're going to throw a lot of pucks to the net, try to win battles at our net front. And we know that they're, they're going to try to protect their goalie. So, so for us, again, it's about winning the battles. It's about winning the races. It's about paying the price to score goals. And it's about playing hard for 60. And if you let up for a little bit and you, and you let your foot off the gas for a little bit, similar to the way we did at Michigan State in the third period, they're going to come after you. And uh, so we respect them a lot and uh, looking forward to a big weekend for us from the standpoint that I'd like our team at the end of the weekend to say, hey, we just outworked that team. And if we can do that, I think we'll be in really good shape moving forward. Yeah, and also a special night on Saturday night face-off against Cancer, the fourth annual. And this is important to you and everybody that will be there on Saturday night. It is. It is. Uh, you know, our Carbone Center does such a spectacular job in our city um, for not only the patients around Madison, but worldwide on, on what they come up with for, you know, helping out cancer patients, for finding cures for different types of cancer. They seem that they're, they're always ahead on what they're doing. Um, and, you know, Dr. Howard Bailey is a good friend of our program. He puts in a ton of energy and, uh, and effort into doing everything he can uh, for the Children's Hospital, but a great ambassador, too, around our community on, on representing uh, the Carbone Center. So we're we'll, looking forward to that night. It's always a, a great night because all of us have been affected by cancer, either friends, family. And, you know, Robin Dring is still on our prayer list mm -hmm. for, for what he's going through, so it's still in our in our. You know, in our group, Jeff Sanger, our old goalie coach, his son is still battling some cancer. So there's lots of people that we, you know, pray for, and, and this is a big night for all of us. All right, Tony, thank you very much. Yeah, we'd love to see you at the Kohl Center Friday night. The game starts at 8 o'clock. It's on ESPN, and PNU, ESPNU. Uh, game two Saturday night starts at 7. That is on Fox Sports Wisconsin with Rob Andringa and myself. Both games on the Badger Sports Network as well. Go to uwbadgers.com or one 800 Go Badgers for ticket information. There are some discounts available Saturday night, too, for face-off against cancer. For Tony Granato and Jay Williams, I'm Ryan Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.